family is everything. You know, if you don't have family, you're, you're missing out on, on so much, the joys of life, what, what the Lord has given us and what the Lord has planned for us. I grew up on this farm. I left here in uh, 1965. My family has been here for hundreds of years, more than a hundred years. My uh, grandfather grew timber here. He sawmilled here. My uncles and aunts grew up here. And I came back here in 1994, and we took over then the management of this, this farm. My husband and I own timberland because we see the value in having a renewable resource. We see the value in having timber that can be harvested at different times. Plus, it's something that can be passed on to our generations. What you see here on this place will, will be passed on to generations. This is, has just been planted in the last three years, and it's probably, uh, well, more than I probably will not benefit financially from this, but we hope that, that our children and our grandchildren will be able to reap the uh, rewards of, of our labor and our time. I asked my grandfather one time why he kept buying land and kept acquiring land. He said, you never got too much land. The timber just grew and it was harvested as needed, but no real management practices were used. We're able to manage our land so much better now because of MFA and our involvement with them and our involvement with the CFA and the County Forestry Association also. MFA gives us so many resources that we would not have available to us any other way. Mississippi Forestry Association has given us many opportunities through uh, attending convention, through attending their legislative luncheons, through field days through participating in our county forestry associations. And one thing I've all, have always found that, that they're just really great, genuine, down-to-earth people, always willing to share their knowledge. The MFA is the voice of forestry in Mississippi. And we have that voice in the uh, legislature, we have it in uh, schools, we have it in, through education, we have it so many different ways that uh, we wouldn't have that voice Ed, if we were not part of MFA. And the more people that are involved in MFA, the stronger it becomes and the bigger voice we have. The land can supply so many things. It's always a place to live. And it's just very important that you have that sense of security and uh, confident that you can come out here and do what you want to do. I'm Betty Ellis. My husband and I are fourth-generation landowners and proud members of Mississippi Forestry Association.